What's going on guys? So we're gonna go through the stats here and we're gonna have a majority of intelligence, a little bit of dex and obviously the 150 con perk, but we're gonna go in depth in this. So let's start with the 50 dex here, 10 critical chance, really good for the rapier, really good for the ice spikes, really good damage. Speaking of damage guys, 50 int, 10% damage to light and heavy magical attacks, pretty self-explanatory so I'm not gonna go in depth in this one here. 100 int, really nice pair up with 50 dex because you're gonna have a crit chance increase from the dex and then you're gonna have a crit hit damage increase from the 100 int. So obviously really good for your ice spikes, really good for the rapier, especially if you're coming from behind them and you're hitting them back, stab is gonna be a guaranteed crit and therefore extra critical hit damage in that regard. And we got the 150 int. I didn't really mention the 200, 250, and 300 int in this. And the main reason why is they're just not as relevant. Funny enough, the first three perks from int are amazingly good. And therefore, we're going to elaborate a little bit on that one. And this one being the 15% to elemental damage, which is a really good addition of damage to your toolkit. And the last one here to mention is 150 con. I'm going to mention every single time I make a build because if you're playing dex and you want to fight against other dex users or if you're just playing in a class that needs to get in their faces then 150 con is a must. 10% reduction to critical damage taken is huge and you just really cannot trade hits otherwise. So we're going to talk a little bit about the perks on the skill tree. First, we're going to start with the rapier. We're going to go into the IG afterwards, but it's going to be a very similar concept here. The primary key you want is stamina and movement speed, because these are the two factors that's going to allow you to play more offensively as well as defensively as well. Now, controlled breathing. Three stamina on any hit will allow you to keep sticking to your target as much as possible. Trading hits, using your iframes, obviously omnidirectional evade on top of that. Great utility. Next we got Swagger, same application as Control Breathing. The more stamina you have, the more you can iframe, the more you can chase, and obviously it benefits you defensively as well as offensively. And last in line here, we got the Swiftness, which obviously allows you to ramp up the movement speed by hitting the enemy. Rapier attacks are very quick consecutive hits, so it makes it near impossible for them to distance themselves. Alright, so let's talk about the IG now. 
Great addition to it is the movement speed perks, Quick Frost being one of them, and this just allows you to gap close the enemy a lot easier. Drop that Ice Storm, get that heavy attack to freeze them, chase them through the ice, and obviously getting that extra move speed. And now we got Quick Shower, very similar to the Quick Frost, but obviously utilizing the Ice Shower, you're getting a 25% movement speed boost for 2 seconds. This is really good when you try to set up the Ice Showers into the enemy. Even if you weapon switch, you're still going to be getting that Quick Shower movement speed, so great to keep attacking and transitioning into a chase. And we got the best for last here, Heavy Freeze. I mean, this is one of the tools that allows you to set up for kills, either it be with the ice spikes after you freeze them, or even just to set up with the shower and then the rapier going in and getting those left clicks out. Let my heart speak. My friends keep telling me to 